my name is Anthony Hagen. Welcome to the Mike Lounge Podcast. He asked me, hey, Anthony, why you change your name again? Let me explain to you. The reason was uh, Hagen Picture Production, What's It On Your Mom Podcast. But my son told me that it's a little bit too long, Dad. You need to change that. Then a friend of mine, uh, his name is Darren, and he says, let me check out your name, Hagen Picture Production. He tried it. He can't find it. Then hey, maybe try your your name on it, Anthony Hagen. Then he put Anthony Hagen on it. Then he said, oh, good news, Anthony. I found you. But, and I asked, well, what do you mean, but? But means that there's a six billion Anthony Hagen podcast or Hagen podcast uh, or Anthony podcast. I'm going to kind of exaggerate six billion, but it was a lot. A lot of Hagen, a lot of Anthony. Also, this, also there's a special, um, I guess, Special podcast for me to do, uh, this episode. Uh, it's, it's about me, a little bit about me. Um, I'm, of course, you know, I'm adopted, um, but a lot of people that are going to know I'm adopted. Uh, also, a lot of people that don't know I'm from you know, South Korea. You know, I got adopted when I was uh, age nine, uh, come to the U.S. Um, the thing is that any older kid in overseas, I guess, to get adopted, very hard to get adopted. You know, anything, you know, I mean, anything, you know, even for, now I got very lucky to adopt it to, you know, a kind family, you know, Hagen's family, uh, Don and, you know, Margaret Hagen. Uh, but yeah, he's a kind family. And Zav, K- slash Crispin, you know, he's my brother, you know. Um, I came around in 1978 from South Korea to U.S. And I think I just turned nine. Um, it is kind of a little different, I guess. I mean, different from Korea to, you know, in the U.S. Um, I, I have to do it just, not a little bit, a lot of just, but, you know, you know, you know language-wise. Because language-wise, I could not speak any kind of English. You know, you know, only thing I know is, hello, thank you, bye, water, and, um... Food, I guess. Um, but I do kind of, I do understand what they're talking about, but I could not speak to it, I guess. Can I, how to explain? But yeah, I have a really hard time in English, why? Because, you know, I started, you know, learning, you know, actually learning English, I was nine years old. You know, most kids learning, you know, their language, I guess, from the, you know, toddler to, or, you know, kindergarten to first class on and on. For me, is nine. I have to start for everything from the beginning, you know, uh, after the phonics and all that. You know, I, I even went, they even sent me to, uh, uh, I guess, English as second language as my first year of school. You know, I went to the class, I have to learn that, uh, English second language, all that. Um, and I have sometimes, I have to, you know, most kids there don't speak any English, anything. And I know some, and I have to kind of translate for them a little bit what they want, you know, water, drink, out, something like that, you know. Um, yeah, they cannot, put, they, basically, they cannot, they cannot put me anywhere, you know. I mean, right, right in between the middle, like kind of like that. And then, you know, I go you know, older, you know, me a new kid, you know, blogs, my family and my, uh, my parents' family and stuff like that, you know, they welcome me big time. You know, you know, especially, you know, you know, they're both white. I'm a black Asian. You know, like that, you know, it's that kind of, that time, that time of that, you know, in eight, you know, around eighties. Yeah. It's kind of 80. So, you know, like that. And it's still, people don't accept any, I guess, non, your non race kid, I guess, you know, it's kind of accepted whatever, like that. You know, but you know they, you know their family, you know family really accepted me, and plus my brother is, you know mixed too, a mixed white and black, you know, and they, they accept him like that, and they accept me, you know the family I went through really nice families, you know like, you know they accepted who I am, and they helped me, you know English and all that, but I learned my English from watching Price Right, you know, uh, Price Right, 
uh, electric company, but not Sesame Street, but most electric company. You know, learning like learning English, just speaking wise, and cartoons. You know, you know like that. But yeah, you know, I learned, you know, speak stuff like that, and then people helped me. Even even I went to went to different school to learn English wise, I guess. You know, to learn that you know, my parents sent me to a Catholic school, Catholic elementary school. You know, even when I went there, they couldn't put me any place because I'm started learning English. First, they put me they put me in a class, kindergarten class. I guess I was nine years old. You know, I was hanging on hanging out for a while, like you know, you know, <laughs> uh, I think four four or five year kids, you know, like that. You know, and they said, "Well, he's too old for that." Then they put me in, you know, second grade, third grade, and then back to third grade, back to fourth grade. They decided to okay, the age wise, uh, I think they should put me like uh, fourth grade wise. You know, you know, but and give me credit, you know, give me the, those people uh, credit because even everybody try to help me out to read and write and you know understand English wise stuff like that. Even lower class people even in class, yeah, second grade, try to help me, and that's that's great feeling, you know. In a school, small school, but you know, I think 125 kids, maybe less, like that. But yeah, I mean, they try to you know, help me, you know, help me how to speak English, English and writing and all that, you know. Also, I went to different. Also, I went to uh, different. Um, I guess. Uh, psychology help, I guess, to figure out what's wrong with me, why I can't speak English. But they have to realize that I'm from a different country, speak a whole different language, you know. And also, so a lot of things change, you know. Uh, basically, I go to go to like different stores, whatever. I'd be like, oh, wow, a lot of stuff out there. Wow, we're so big. Wow, what is this? Oh my God, nice toy. You know, oh my God, this is a huge. You know, you know, I went to my uh, uh, my 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 parents' house first time. Oh my God, there must be millionaire. The house is big. You know, all oh, that. You know, but you know, you know, they're they're normal average middle class family. You know, but but thing is, is I, you know, I grow, you know, I got older. I get, I did a dumb mistake ever I did. The thing is that uh, we have a like two story home. It has like a uh, a uh, close line from that two story to down to the uh, garage, and I try to do like yeah I'm gonna be Spider Man, and I try to two story climb down like a Spider Man or you know you know you know some, something like that idea, and my hand got my hand got caught middle of the roll, I was hanging down least uh, I guess. 15 feet, 15, 20 feet high, I guess, you know, <laughs> and I was stuck and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God. And my hands like dying. And I, I struggle and struggle and try to climb out. And after my, uh, my, my balcony, I was like, what the heck I was thinking? You know, of course I was like nine years old, you know, trying to be something I'm not. And then another story I have is, this this is a, I don't know if it's a dumb or not, but this is for me the first time you know, going to school, the public school, you know, type of school. Uh, I went to the, the men's restroom. You know what they have? They kind of the wash your hand, whatever, the kind of big uh, community washing hand kind of school you used to have. And it has a lever pushed down. Every time I go, the lever pushed down, and I look it up, and it's like water come out. I was like, oh my goodness, this is about magic. And we went back, you know, same thing. We went back again. Same thing. I was so odd. I was like, oh my God, this America is great. And then I went to the trash can, had the same level thing pushed down, you know, you, you lay, lay down and push down level to the, the, the lever for the container open. I did the same thing. Like, oh my God, what's going on here? This is awesome. America is great. But over the order I get, I saw that, you know, basically my my feet down and the levels up, you know, stuff like that. You know, I understand that, you know, it's not magic, I guess.
But, you know, it grew up in the U.S. like it's really different, but really the same from Korea. The reason I'm saying that because it's like, Korea is so American, Americanized a little bit because of military base wide, American soldier and all that. You know, that's why. But still, kind of off to me, odd me, because I mean, USA, I mean, in the United States, you know, like that, you know, and it smells different, feels different, you know, like that. You know, it does feel like, I don't know how to explain it. It is different, you know. But, you know, my life changed for that? Yes, I have. You know, food-wise, people-wise, English-wise. And then another thing, another thing. That uh, I visited my cousin, I guess, my mother's side. I first time I was I saw MTV, all right? <laughs> you know, and I was like, wow, what's going on here? MTV, you know, uh, music television. And I was like, oh my God, they have a color. I mean, they just have everything, you know? And I never know, know anything about cables before. You know, they have a cable TV and all that. Like, oh my goodness. You know, like just different, you know, growing up. You know, I met a lot of a lot of wonderful people, you know, since you know, I came to the US, you know. And another thing is, you know, like I am not getting chased, I'm not getting hungry, you know, and I'm not being ridiculed. I mean, yes, I can really get somewhat but Korean or living in Korea, I would ridicule they ridicule me really bad because I skinned my color. You know. I mean they call me name all the time. I mean, once why they do the same thing in here, but I, I, I get in, I ignore it, you know, like that. But now I get older, I don't hear anything, you know, kind of, kind of numb my ear, I guess, <laughs> you know. But the younger time, in U.S. came, I didn't call, they don't call me no name at me, they ridicule me, ain't nothing. But Korea I had a pretty bad, uh, people calling names, you know, like you know, name, racial name, like that. Uh, but here. I was coming. You know, I live in Milwaukee, and Milwaukee is so diverse. Never I living, you know. There's, I mean, so diverse. There's, they were all we were living in Milwaukee. There's, a, there's like, black, Asian, and white, you know, Latinos, you know, Arab, you know, all kind of different kind of people. They were living with. I loved that. I loved it. We had a. I mean, first year we had a, uh, black parties. You know, we had a little parade going on and all that, you know, being, having a good time, you know, you know, different kids and all that. But I had a good time, really good time. You know, you know, I was little, coming to U.S., meeting so many new people and going to different school, different high school, you know, going to high, different high school, different people. Oh, my God. I met a lot, a lot of people, you know, I came to the U.S., you know, I you know I just say the culture is like is different, you know. But it's the same. Yeah, you, know, you know I really say, you know, like that. But food is different. I, you know, the first time I eat a steak, you know, I couldn't eat steak. Like, it tastes funny for me. I kind of I kind of spread it out the steak out. Um, but you know, I had I did steak before in in Korea, but. You know, but taste is different. You know, like that. You know, and we do like different things from there and from here. You know, you know, I would like to go to the grocery store if I was little. I was like, oh my goodness, all this food. You know, all this place. Like I was like, wow. I mean, I was like, oh my god, this place is wonderful. You know, for the little kids, I you know, I'm nine years old. You know, the first time seeing. You know, mega, you know, supermarket and stuff like that. Driving, you know, cars. You know, I never drove a car before. You know, like that. And, you know, you know, winter time we meet, like, all play snowball and all that, building fort and all that. Um, we got the same crowd of people, you know, growing up, you know, in Milwaukee. And, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, it was wonderful. Very wonderful, you know. And like, you know, like I said, you know, reflecting with my journey, my journey will continue. Always going to be continue. 
you know, these days, you know, I'm 54, going to be 54 years old. Got me always continue my journey, you know, like that. But that's not a part, not a part, of, not an episode of the story. Okay. But this is a little more about me, you know, how people do not believe me. Oh, I'm not Korean. And sometimes I have a not issue, but go places telling people, yeah, I'm part of Korean. They look at me like, you're in a crack. All right. You're not Korean. You know, for example, I went to one of the Korean restaurant in, in Chicago with my family. And then we told them, hey, you know, and my wife told me, hey, he's Korean, you know, ordered some Korean did. That, that Richard looked at me like I'm crazy. He, she told me, right up here, you lying, you're not Korean, right? You're not Korean. I said, yes, I am Korean, you know, like that. And they asked me, what's your last name in Korea? I said, Wang. And you, what, what's your, uh, what's your uh, first name? Tony. And that's how you spell it. I said, T O N uh, T O N E. That's how you spell Tony spell, not Y. You know, I was like, okay. She kind of, kind of that looks at me like, all right, okay, whatever, man, whatever. Problem is, I don't look Korean. That's the problem is. You know, a lot of my friend, you know, Asian friend mixed with Korean, they look Korean. Even if you're black or white, whatever, they have that their feature look Korean. I don't. I don't look Korean at all. I mean, that's that's the issue. I, you know, they don't believe I'm a Korean. You know, I don't look I don't look like it. You know, and my all my kids don't look like it. You know, and my kids look like you know ones look like uh uh. A Greek or Latino, once like in uh, Japanese, you know, or it's like Asian, once like a black, but look kind of look like you know, you know, Arab looking. Yeah, I don't know. They don't look, they don't look Korean. Even they have problem too. It's a bad Korean don't believe them. But yeah, you know, life you know, and life continue continue the journey for me, you know, until I guess I die, you know. But you know, I, I guess that. This is kind of my part of my story. Part of my story, part of my episode. I like to share with you guys. I learned a little bit about me. You know, you know it's kind of a little uh, pre. I get pre uh, trailer for me. Whatever I guess for me, kind of just like who I am. You know, for you know this show. Um, what type of story I'm gonna tell? And yeah, you know, I'm I'm glad you, you guys listened to me, and I'm thank you very much for listening and maybe watching maybe you know and <laughs> going to the YouTube uh, but thank you I see you next time bye now